All right, here we are. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I got it from T-Mobile, ordered on Friday, and it arrived here on Monday. I don't usually have iPhones, so kind of interested in unboxing this. This is not for me. I got it for my wife. Uh, that is a good looking phone though. I will tell you that. I generally use the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G, uh, which I'm a big fan of. My wife prefers the iPhones and this is the latest and greatest. Uh, it's a very cool color. I'm used to unboxing Android devices, so it's a little interesting how they do things here. I like this little cover. It tells you where all the buttons are right off the bat and it protects the screen. It's a thick, I don't know a thick, but dense, I guess. There's some weight to it. I think the note's heavier, but it also has a little case on it. Uh, as you may be well, well aware, uh, the box is very small. Mainly because it does not come with a charger. There's an indent in the box for the camera hump. This is just a C to lightning bolt. They did not go full C yet. They should, but they haven't. And up here is just the SIM ejector tool. And even though I got it from T-Mobile, there is not a SIM included, I don't believe. Let's take a look here. It's going to be hard to see because it's that cool dark blue color. There's a volume rocker here. You can see it's very fingerprinty. Here is... The fingerprint sensor on the side i really like that on the bottom is the lightning charger port sim card is on the right hand side well oh, i guess this big button's a power button i thought it was a volume it's just one big button it's a power button and here's the volume and here's the you know apple silence button and then there's just nothing up top no headphone jack, of course. So let's just power them on and let's see what that's like. All right, you got swipe up. English, United States. All right, so now we need to set up our current. Uh, she is gonna swap from an iPhone, so I need to get her current iPhone up and we'll set this up. All right, here's the iPhone 11 that I got my wife last year for Christmas. And here is the new Series 6 watch uh, with the Cactus Band. She likes that a lot as well. Alright, so let's give this a shot. So here is her current iPhone. Alright, I'm going to blur that out, but we're going to use her at... It just automatically knows itself, which is pretty cool. I do like these kind of graphics that the uh, iPhones use. Now it's in your passcode. So this is just the regular iPhone 11 and this is the Pro Max. I do like the size of this. I like a large phone, obviously. You know, having a Note and an LG V60 that I'm recording in Austin, I'm always a fan of the larger phones. I just got an alert from my Eero that a new device was found. Uh, so that's pretty neat that it immediately picks up. So it's automatically on the Wi-Fi, no setups needed. Uh, she's not here right now, so I will set it up later. And I will transfer the data. Obviously, you uh, set terms and conditions. Let's all have this otter box, the symmetry. I don't know if you use Apple Pay, we'll set that up later. She does have an Apple Watch, and here it is. All right, so now we're transferring the data. So it does show 5G there, even though I don't even have a, unless there's just, um, the SIM card might already be installed. That could be correct. I didn't think about that. On Android phones, you have to put the SIM card in automatically. I guess it's pre-installed on the iPhone. Coming from an Android phone, I do like the battery. You know, this is silly things, but of course, if you go through a lot of phones like I do, little things matter. I hate the little notch, uh, but I do like, see how the battery is green in the middle and then the little, I do like that. Samsung phone definitely don't do that. Almost a boring battery compared to that one. So, for comparison's sake, here's how the screen would compare with a Samsung device versus the new iPhone. Uh, it looks like it's a little taller on the Samsung. Now, granted, mine's in the case here, so it's not a 100% fair comparison, but... But it looks like they're about the same width, which is important to me. Uh, I like a good wide phone. They're too narrow. I have big hands, so it's, 
it gets texting is not as cool when the uh, phones are too narrow. All right, so I just went ahead and when it finished, it just started rebooting. So that, so it even transferred over the wallpaper uh, from this phone, my wife's old phone. So the transfer is complete here. And if you see, it does have a salmon or dog. And I'm assuming the same passcode is going to work. And it does. And set up pretty much exactly the same. So let's get one last look at this back. Uh, it looks great. And now we're going to try this OtterBox case. I think it's funny, it just says iPhone 2020 large. All right, uh, so let's just take a look at this guy. It's a hard shell with the soft sides and the buttons are in there already. I prefer to touch the actual buttons, but that's all right, I guess. It's weird though, it's, I thought this was a fingerprint sensor, but there's not a hole for it here, so I don't know what that is. Boy, that is a snug fitting case. As you can see, the back still shows there. Wireless charging seems to work. All right, I want to turn Wi-Fi on. Let's run a Wi-Fi speed test. Uh, I have the new Eero system, so it should get pretty fast. Yeah, so I pay for a gigabit down, and yeah, I'll run another test on the Note just to see how it compares. Now the router is over here. Seem to be on par on the Wi-Fi test, so that's pretty good for the iPhone. I don't think I can test the 5G yet. I'll have to see. Let me see how to activate that. Well, one thing with the iPhones, right, they're all basically the same because they update their older phones to be pretty much on par. And off the top, I don't know if there's anything majorly different here. So you can see how next to impossible to get this thing out. So the OtterBox one's going to provide good protection. All your buttons still work. All right, so now I'm going to pair these two together. All right, so it took a second to kick in, but now it just automatically starts syncing once I hit those OK buttons on each other. So you can see I previously paired this with the iPhone 11 here. Now we're just syncing it to the new, new phone. So we're almost done here. All right, and just like that, we've paired it with our new iPhone. Yes, this one does have cellular. I haven't set that up yet. Uh, but I will. All right, yeah, so I checked with T-Mobile and it does have a SIM already installed. Uh, if you don't want to take it out, you can just go to settings and then general and about and it'll be listed in this stuff. I got blurred out for the video of course, but it's it's in there. Uh, T-Mobile's asking for the ICC ID number. Guess while we're here, we'll check for an update and it does have one available. So we're going to download and install that. All right, while I'm waiting for T-Mobile to activate the SIM in this one, let's go ahead and run a speed test. So this is the old phone. This one is not 5G. Let's run a speed test on this before I activate the SIM on the new card. We're in Louisville, Kentucky, the basement of my house. I got lights here, I got a computer here. It's not conducive to a lot of speeds, but that's pretty good. And so yeah, it's not bad at all. Let me test it on the Note. The Note is running 5G. This is the iPhone 11, which is a, you know, just a 4G phone. <laughs> and you can see uh, we're on LTE, it's not testing 5G here. Even though it says 5G up here, it's still won't get an LTE. The iPhone is getting uh, better speeds. You can see how fingerprinty this gets. Those aren't good speeds at all. Let's test it again. So this one says it is getting 5G and still not getting great speeds on the Note. For me, I'm definitely a fan of Samsung phones. Uh, the Note 10 Plus was probably my favorite phone ever. This phone is very solid, but I will say I'm never really blown away by 5G speeds. I never have bad speeds. I never have connection issues. It works everywhere, but it's not, uh, you know, the revolution that it is touted as. Now, T-Mobile, of course, is focused on the mid-band and low-band to get more consistent speeds and just better connection, and that is has been the case. But as far as just straight-up speeds, you know, I get consistently good speeds on the Note, but it doesn't really blow me away. Once this update ever finishes, uh, we will then restart it and it should be activated. You don't have to update the software. I was just doing that anyhow. T-Mobile says now reset this, re restart the phone and it should be working on the SIM card. All right, I really, I don't want to wait for the update. So I'm just going to power it off. All right, I'll turn it back on. So it does say 5G. The screen looks really good. You know, I'm used to a Samsung phone, which is really one of the best displays you can get, but this one looks great. I do like this phone. Go ahead and put it back in the Otter box. All right, so let's test on the actual app. So even though we're on 5G, it does say it's getting 5G here. You can see he's getting garbage speeds. Just a minute ago, when I tested on the website, it was getting like 56. So, all right. So yeah, her phone number transferred over. And all right. So let's test this again. Cause that was a pretty abysmal speed test. We are in Louisville, Kentucky, in the basement of my house. All right. This is more on par what I would expect. Uh, usually around 
you know, 30 to 60, somewhere in that range is where the 5G and 4G kicks in and in this area. And so that was good for that. And then let's turn the Wi-Fi back on. So now just for shits and giggles, we'll test it on the Wi-Fi just to make sure we're getting those good speeds. Yeah, so we're getting strong speeds on the Wi-Fi. So I, mean, I think the antennas on the phone are just fine. It's just I'm not getting a good T-Mobile signal in my basement here. All right, I'll go back to installing this update. I don't really want to wait on it. If you get a new phone, check it. There should be an update. And my wife's ready to try her new phone out, I'm sure. So that should probably be it. If something major happens in the update, I'll come back and add something up. If not, that'll probably be it. Uh, we have the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, the, app, the Watch 6, Series 6. This is the cactus color band, uh, which I like. I mean, it's not for me. It's for my wife, of course, but she likes it as well. And I really like the color of this phone. Uh, the camera should be stellar, but... And this OtterBox case, you know, again, it's for my wife, but she likes it, I believe, and it seems to be working great. And batteries charges through there through uh, wireless charging, so uh, I think it's a home run. All right, uh, and I do like the width and the size of this of the phone, so uh, it's, you know, even though I'm an Android guy with my Note, the closest I would get to switching to an iPhone would be this guy right here.